Hey, what's going on everybody? If you own a home services business, construction business, or any small business whatsoever, it could be a real estate business, you need to be investing in getting reviews. Now, I've got some other videos out there that you should watch about which review platforms you should prioritize. Um, go watch those other videos, but in, in short, you wanna focus on Google My Business, you wanna get Bing places opened up, Get Facebook reviews because Bing Places uses that in 2020. I would invest if you're uh, if you can in Yelp, and then um, you might want to follow up and get some some different uh, third-party aggregators. So those could be your Thumbtack, Home Advisor, anything that when you search your business name and in the Google My Business where your business is on the bottom, there's you'll see which sites get aggregated into Google My Business. There's kind of a trick to get them actually hooked up together so that they show up there. Um, but you wanna get reviews. Now, how do you get reviews? When you're first getting started, um, and if you're a lower volume shop, you wanna make sure that you actually make phone calls, plant the seed early, have those discussions, and frame it up simply. Like, people overcomplicate reviews. When you tell somebody you're hoping that they would give a review, what you wanna do is just let them know, hey, what I was hoping is that um, you would show people that you would recommend this to somebody else, right? And what we've done here at Feedback Ranch is we've set up an automation system, and this automation system is super powerful. We use a combination of a CRM email automator and a texting platform that comes from an actual local phone number and this unique little stack what it is is we make a form for you where you would go onto your website that's protected with a password and on your back end you just put the person's name phone number and email and what will happen is it will just gently drip on them and gently text a couple times, send them a couple emails, and all we do is we put in your review links to Google My Business, to Yelp, to third parties like Zillow, or if you've got uh, you know Thumbtack, Home Advisor, whatever they are. And the idea is that you want to build up all these platforms. So we use a CRM to make sure that each customer gets asked in a gentle way, but diligently to do more than one platform because um, it's really good. If it, the, the main portion of this is that we do kind of what Podium does and some of these other uh, bird's eye, these review platforms. We, we create a, uh, an actual customer review form and that review form is gonna ask them on a scale of one to five, one not meeting, three fully meeting, and five exceeding expectations in three categories. Whatever those three need to be, it could be product process and uh, you know ordering or, or whatever it is um, it depends on your business but and then at the very end you just ask them would you recommend us to a friend and if they're saying yes they would recommend you to a friend then you can know for sure that uh, you're driving past where you're supposed to turn <laughs> but if they would recommend you now you know that that's somebody that you should be targeting to just make it very simple for them to provide a review now whenever you're asking for reviews you got to remember you're not allowed to give them spiffs, right? So the terms of service of Google My Business, terms of service for Yelp and other places are pretty stern about, um, you know, telling people you're gonna give them gift cards or anything like that. So when you're doing reviews, make sure that you're careful about that. The main deal you wanna do is just diligently make it easy, follow up with them. And if you come at it from a humble perspective that you want to get perspective so your perspective is that you want to get their perspective of how things went and when we use this this form we're asking them hey we want to become wise help us understand how to improve and and that's really what it is so what's really fun is by framing it up as meeting not meeting or exceeding expectations you're really able to uh, find out what you've done well what you haven't done well and uh, boy I'm my GPS is all turned around I don't know what's going on here and uh, long story short, it's super helpful. And uh, what that does is it, it helps you know who are your best customers, who actually like you. And you can make it anonymous so that it's done by email um, and then you can kind of hide it. There's some ways to do that so that people get super comfortable um, telling you how they feel. Because one hard thing in business, especially in Minnesota where you've got Minnesota Nice, is that in the same voice where people are saying, boy, I... <laughs> So I was in a restaurant, right? And I remember sitting there and the food was very mediocre. It was a little overpriced and I wasn't that excited about eating there. But the really nice waiter came over and asked how everything was. And my wife, right after I was done complaining, she looks up at him and goes, yeah, everything's good. Everything was not good. The food was garbage. Like it was overpriced and it wasn't good. 
Um, now, if they were to ask me for a review face to face, my wife being really nice and me being pretty nice, she's nicer than I am, would have said something like, oh yeah, we'll give you a review. And then instead of giving them a review, we would have laughed and not said anything. Um, that's not helpful. You want helpful feedback so that you can improve your business. You're not in the business of just trying to get people to say they like you. You want to find out what it is about your operations, particularly your product, your process, and your people of how you can improve. So by giving them that feedback form of picking three criteria, saying not meeting, meeting, or exceeding one through five, um, you can really find out how things are going and it gives you the tools that you need to improve your business. And I'm telling you, not only that, you're going to start being able to cultivate those enthusiastic customers that you should be, and I hate the term, but loving on over time. So by by investing in them and uh, talking to them and doing all of that proactive um, nurturing to cause people that like you to be fans, you know, sending the Christmas wreath, giving them pies on Thanksgiving, whatever that is, it's really easy to do that if you have an immediate quick follow-up, but through email and text, because email is hard because it gets filtered out, you got to use these texting tools, and we know how to do that really well. So give us a call. Go to FeedbackRanch.com. God bless. Good luck with everything that you do. I'm going to go shoot some rifles. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. God bless.